today's attacks that killed more than 30 people. And one of the biggest concerns here, friends or family who were there, are they safe? Here's Brandon Scott. Doug and Lynette Ubel's son Brandon lives in Belgium. A former Nebraska basketball MVP, he now plays for Brussels in a European league. When the Ubels heard about the Brussels terror attacks, they worried about their son and their daughter and son-in-law, who are also in Brussels right now to watch Brandon play. You know, where can you go in the world that's totally safe anymore? But uh, yeah, you, when something happens that close to where you are, you feel a little, uh, a little uneasy, certainly. From the Ubels' home just outside Kansas City, Doug and Lynette used Skype to check in on their children. Thankfully, they were safe, even though they planned to travel through the same subway station, which was blown apart by a suicide bomber. They were going to take the, the trains to the actually the Malbec station that wound up <clears throat> being hit this morning. And luckily, they slept in and did not go and got the word from our son before they left. While the former Husker and his sister are safe and accounted for, Doug and Lynette Ubel's hearts still break for the families of those who were caught in the terror. As you might expect, another local concern is students who are studying abroad in Belgium. We checked with UNO and UNO does not have any students currently studying in Brussels. UNL does have a student in Brussels and so does Creighton. We are happy to report that both students from both schools are safe tonight. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT6 News. UNL officials tell us a broadcasting student was in Brussels during the attacks. She is there for spring break and is safe, and she spoke with our sister station in Lincoln. Once we started looking at everything, like we were like, oh my gosh, and we realized like we didn't know if we should leave the hotel room, what we should do, because we don't know anyone here. UNL and Creighton both report all students have been located and are safe, and no UNO students were in Belgium. Well, it was warm, it was nice out there, but the change is rolling in.